Hi, I'm Mike Capazzola from the Investing Channel, and welcome to IPGO, the show where we take a look at the IPO world, past, present, and future. As U.S. equity markets shake off the prospect of higher interest rates and test towards new all-time highs, the new issue markets are abuzz in what would normally be a quiet period for them. But rather than making holiday plans, bankers and brokers are seeing their inboxes fill up with potential new business. The IPO buzz extends across the Atlantic all the way to Madrid, where conglomerate Axiona is looking to spin off its renewable energy business via an IPO and achieve a valuation of $11.66 billion for the unit, which, if successful, would make it one of the biggest deals in Europe this year. Axiona will sell up to 25% of its energy business and will float the unit in its native Madrid. It's expected to price the stock between 26.73 euros and 29.76 euros per share. In dollar terms, that's a range of $31.97 to $35.59. Renewable energy stocks have fallen in value recently, and analysts are starting to question the economics of transitioning to a lower carbon future. However, the offset for lower returns seems to a lower level of regret over the environment. If Axiona sells 25% of the business at the top end of the indicated range, it will realize around 2.82 billion euros, or $3.37 billion. Spanish retail investors won't get a look in, however, as it's likely the deal will go to qualified investors only, which is shorthand for institutions and high net worth individuals. We're crossing back over the Atlantic now for news of the impending IPO of Soho House, a business that runs 28 private members clubs around the globe. Despite being based in London, the company has designs on an NYSE listing. Perhaps that's because hospitality businesses are often valued at higher multiples stateside than they are in the UK. Though the fact that U.S. billionaire Ron Burkle is a major shareholder has no doubt played a part as well. He currently owns around 60% of the business, while UK restaurateur Richard Caring owns another 30%, and founder Nick Jones holds the other 10%. Soho House was started in London with a single venue in 1995. It now has more than 100,000 members at its 28 clubs and plans to expand that footprint to 46 sites over the next two years. Existing members will be offered the chance to participate in the IPO via a fixed allocation of shares. Soho House has a 48,000 strong waiting list and membership fees of $1,400 per annum and was valued at $2 billion after a $100 million fundraising in 2020 though the group will look to achieve a valuation of $3 billion or more via the IPO. Would-be investors will probably want to know how the management intends to turn last year's near halving of revenues and an ultimate loss of $235 million into a profit. Of course, much of that will depend on how quickly COVID restrictions are waived around the world. J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, and HSBC will coordinate and manage the deal. Online security business Sentinel One Incorporated has filed papers for an IPO with the SEC. The business specializes in artificially intelligent and autonomous cybersecurity solutions, which allow companies to protect their operations from an increasing number of online threats, such as ransomware attacks. The firm's management has backgrounds in the intelligence and defense communities and founded the company specifically to counter cybersecurity threats that existing solutions couldn't cope with. Sentinel One will look to raise as much as $928 million through the sale of 32 million shares at between $26 and $29 a share, aiming for a valuation of $7 billion or more. Though privately, executives at the business are said to have a target of $10 billion in mind. Sentinel One was founded in 2013 by Israelis Tomer Weingarten, its CEO, and Almag Cohen, and it has raised a total of $700 million in startup funding from a list of blue-chip VC backers that includes Sequoia Capital, Tiger Global, Insight Partners, as well as Samsung and Qualcomm's venture cap arms. Some of those backers have agreed to put another $50 million into the company at the IPO price. Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America Securities, Barclays, and UBS are among the blue chip names on the ticket for this one. Given the business it's in, the quality of its backing, and the coverage its advisors should be able to generate, it would be surprising indeed if this one didn't price at or above the top end of the range and go on to enjoy a first day pop. That's all we have time for today, but as usual, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions.